Can you hear me now? Hello. Oh, I see something there. Let me turn it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, joy. So, as I was saying while I was muted, if it's not a struggle stream, then it's not a stream at all, right? Um, but what I was saying was I did do a little bit of testing, and we have the saddle track already in there as a mod because that's the way they did it, so you can disable it. It's not Rec Fest Hazmat. I have it changed, or so I thought. Hmm. Let me go in this way quick. Just do a double check of it. That's it. And go here. Yeah, it says it says FS twenty two. All right, so we're good there. Okay. So anyway, create my character. We're gonna go with. This guy. No, 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 no. They didn't really give you very good uh, hair choices here. We're just going to go with that one. I'm going to select it. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with that one. Old beard with the same color. And we're just going to go with that one. And because I'm a Case IH guy, I'm going to go with this. But you have a lot of different ones here. You got Valtra, New Holland, Fent, Husqvarna, John Deere, for those John Deere fans. A little too much green for me, but that's neither here nor there. We have Massey Ferguson. And, yeah, I won't be doing the overalls. We have class Trek suit, it looks like. Don't know why. It gets cold in the winter, so you might have to change up a little bit. We got the heavy coat there. Yeah. Some people will be opting for this one, get the Wild West look a little bit. More overalls. Todd... Found your suit there, Hazmat. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Neil. Yeah. This is the one that Driver53 used the other day. Beekeeper uniform, and you can actually select a color on them. So if Paul wanted to do it, he'd probably pick this one here. But we're not going to go with that. You can do just normal t-shirt. I don't know what that does. Okay, but I'm going to go with this one because that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to change the pants. So you got some regular blue jeans. Um, looks like some cargo pants that are olive drab color. Tan pants and then leggings on a dude. Weird. And then those rustic looking pants that look like they're from the Wild West. Uh, very wrong, Neil. Very wrong. Yeah. Just going through it, this is the first look. I mean, I've actually looked at these already once, getting into the game, just to check check something out that I wanted to check out quick. So I wasn't going in completely blind, but most of the game I have not um, seen yet. So I haven't done anything with the maps or anything. So but we're actually going to go with... Um, now we'll just leave those pants. We got different style hats that you can do. All right, Hazmat. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. 
Yeah, so you got a, some beanies, baseball caps, some cowboy hats, helmets, all sorts of them. You even have the baseball caps that are branded. Case, New Holland, John Deere. Two different John Deere ones. You got a black one with a small logo or the big logo with the all green. Valtra, New Holland, and Massey Ferguson. Oh, I must have read that wrong. Sorry about that, Hazmat. It, it, I must have read it like you were going to be leaving. I'm sorry about that. I think I read it as that you have to be up at three. This isn't going to be a good stream, I don't think, but I'm going to try my best. You have different style of gloves here. I don't think I'm going to use any right now. We can change that later, I think. I haven't tried that yet. Then glasses. We have some standard sunglasses that you could do on FS19. Some different ones. But I'm going to go with the, uh, with the uh, John Lennon ones. And you cannot change, from what I can tell, that you can't change the tinting of the lenses. So... Oh, I'm not going to plod along. I'm going to try to do what I can. Oh, crap. I hit the wrong thing. I don't want to do the tour. Well, I guess we're going to do that. This should be fun. I'm going to change my game settings quick. And then we'll go through all of this stuff. Actually, you know what? We're going to go through all of it now. So here's the map. You can see it looks a little different than it did in FS19. Um, you can hit... I'm on Xbox um, controller, so I hit the X button to go to the farmland, but it's not doing anything. There we go. You can buy or sell anything in this section here, just like you would in FS19. I don't have the money right now, so I only have $100,000. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, so now we have crop types. We have wheat, barley, canola, oats, corn, sunflowers, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beets, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, now the new crops, base game, are um, sorghum, grapes, olives, and this thing's not working. And that's it. Those are the new crops, sorghum, grapes, and olives. So, I mean, they added a few things. Thanks for the follow, ODF, a.k.a. Ferret Farmer. <laughs> so, now we'll go over to the growth. This is a little different than last time. Um, you have new, new sections in here for stubble tillage. Um, cultivated plowed is the same. Seed bed is new. Um, I don't know what that is yet um, in the game, so we will figure that out later on. Um, you still have your growing um, stages and ready to harvest. And it looks like it's only one color this time for the harvest one. And for the harvested, um, it looks like it's the same color. Um, we'll go up here because field number 11 is harvested, and it looks like it's the same. Same shading, anyway. Um, you can see a lot of fields through here on this map that have a little bit of... that they're plowed, they're fields, but not numbered. Makes me think that those are grass fields. I don't know yet. If I turn that off, you can see they are fields. That one looks kind of weird. So, and then we'll go into the soil composition. Whoa! That is new. The whole, the whole map needs plowed. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. It's not limited to... Uh, it's not limited to the f individual fields anymore, apparently. I don't know if that's what they were going for, or if that's a glitch in there, or something that they overlooked. We don't know. Yet.
At least I don't. If anybody else does know, um, be, you know, let me know, I guess. But the soil composition is the same as, as FS19. You got your weed, weed state on there, fertilized, plowing, and liming. Then here's the next one. This one's new. Hot spots. There was something similar in FS17 for hot spots that you could select through when you were selecting different vehicles to um, tab into or reset. It doesn't work quite the same way, I don't think, but we'll just see here. Oh, it does. Okay, so if you look on the map here, here's the main farmyard in through here. If I turn the vehicles off, the the motorized vehicles well, you won't see them on the map now. I turn the, turn the combines off. I have a combine there. Trailers, same thing. So on and so forth. You can turn the, the tip stations off on the map if you want. Loading stations. You know, you can turn off a lot of stuff. Turn off your house. They'll still be there. They just won't show up on the mini-map. So... Okay, and then it goes back to crop types. So that section is done. Okay. And the next section, this is the actual farmlands one. Or no, this is the active workers. This is the... What? Okay. Yeah, that's the active workers. So I guess that only shows what the workers are. Uh, We have the duck that just followed as well. Thanks for the follow, Duck. I appreciate that. Stay away from my corn. <laughs> okay, so nothing's doing anything there right now because I don't have any workers on there yet. Here's the crop calendar for, for the seasonal cycles. Looks very similar to um, the seasons um, menu in FS19. Shows you when to plant, when to plant, and when to harvest, and it shows all the crops there, obviously. Then we have weather forecasts now. Um, okay, so you can scroll this top section in the upper right here to see how what is going to do for the next. Let's see here. Yeah. I can't uh, do that math right now, but it looks like this is what, like 14 hours or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then down in the bottom here, it, it shows you the, the months or the days, technically, the way I have it set up right now, and it's default. Oops. It's uh, one day per, per month. So essentially... If I'm in September right now, the next day it'll be October. So you can see the temperatures where it's going to be eventually. I haven't changed the settings yet. Yeah. Yeah, Gabe. Yeah, you can. Um, you can plant any time. You can turn the seasonal cycles off. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Um. But since I haven't adjusted hardly any of the settings yet in this save, everything is still um, metric. I will be changing it to uh, Imperial once I get down there to that point. Because I don't really know what, say, 24 degrees Celsius is. I could probably do the math, but I really don't want to. Okay, so then the, then the next page is your prices page. It's no longer the second selection after the map, like it was in FS17 or, or 19. So this is where, like the wheat, for example, this will show what you have in your um, silos. And as you can see right now, I don't have anything in any silos or any production chains, buildings. Um, then over here on the right hand side, it'll tell you the any of the uh, selling stations that you have on the map. The more you have, the more you'll have over here on this side. And it'll tell you the prices. 
Now the buying, that's what they will buy it for. So what you would sell it for. The selling side would be what you would buy it for, which we haven't had that before. So and then there's a section down here sh that shows uh, price fluctuations. This is kind of, kind of like the graph in the seasons menu in FS19 that shows shows when the best time to to uh, sell each crop is. So wheat, barley, and oats are pretty much universally the same, which isn't really accurate to real life, but you know, it's a game. So I'm not gonna be dogging it or anything. And then canola is different. So and then we have something new in here. Sugar beet cut. What that is, I don't know yet. That must be something possibly with the productions. We will find that out eventually. Maybe not, not in this stream, but eventually we will. Um, I will be playing around with it more out, outside of the streams just to get a better idea of the game. But this is my uh, first look impressions stream here. And for those of you who don't, who, who I haven't told yet, um, this stream will be put up on my YouTube channel as well as a video. Um, possibly tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, all these down here, except for the stones, herbicide, lime digestate. Okay. So, from from furniture here, up here on the list, to flower. All those are the production chains. Um, products, I guess, that you get out, out of them. And it's going to take a little time to get used to doing all that stuff. We had we had a global company in FS19 with a lot of productions on on the gaming channel on YouTube. Yes, Gabe. Um. Yeah, w with the productions in FS19 with global company, I didn't do those too much. Not that I didn't want to. I just I don't know. I I just like to do the farming side more. Thank you, Gabe. Okay, so the next section is the vehicle overview, very similar to FS19 and FS17, where the first column here shows how long you've owned it. The second one is how many hours are on the equipment. The third column is uh, how worn they are. The lower the number, the more worn they are. So the condition, I guess. Um, the key is whether it's leased or not, how much the lease cost is, most likely. And then the last column is what it will sell for. So if you want to know what the vehicle is going to sell for, you can come to this page here to look it up quicker if you don't have too much equipment. Um, if you're on consoles, eventually, once that version releases. Thank you, Hazmat. Um, the more vehicles you have, the longer this list gets, and it can be quite daunting to try to find the exact one that you want, especially if you don't know the name, per se, which the game will tell you when you hook up to it and everything. But I always tended to use the uh, shop menu to uh, to sell and get the prices to sell it at. Next page is the finances page. It's Pretty much the same as uh, FS19. There, there's a few more things in here, it looks like. Um, but then again, it might there might not be. I, I honestly don't know because I don't look at this page too much on FS19 anymore. But you can still get loans, um, $5,000 increments. We're going to see how much we can borrow right off the bat here. Um, this is, I'm in New Farmer. I don't know if it's going to change it, um, depending on if you start in um, Farm Manager or start from scratch. Okay, 500,000 is the max you can do right now. 
Now, I don't know if that's map locked or difficulty locked or both. Now, the loan system is the same as FS19. I don't have any animal pens yet, so this section is, um, there's nothing in there yet. We'll get to that at some point. Contracts, self-explanatory. I can, uh, let's just see here. Oh, you can accept all three that that I have here. You can accept three at least at, a, at a, any given time. All right, Paul. Take care, buddy. We will talk to you again next time. Thank you for hanging out. And thank you for the host there, Gabe. So I'm just going to cancel the contracts because I'm not going to do them. So all this is the same. You collect them if you fail them. Not that you collect anything. Oh, I know, Gabe. You did tell me that. And I still thank you guys for joining. I know this is the boring part. We will get to the good stuff here in a little bit. Okay, the next section here after the contracts is the production chains. It's very similar from what I have seen. Um, it's very similar to the global company menu where it would show all of the um, production buildings and whatnot. It's pretty much the same as that. Different look, but it functions very, very similarly. And before you ask, no, Global Company is not base game. Wish it was, but it is not. Okay, the next one, the statistics. Fairly similar to the one in FS19. You know, it'll tell you work, worked areas, cultivated and whatnot. Um, usages, um, trees that you've cut down and planted, the bales produced, which... Um, we have gotten a confirmation from Mr. Seely P. Um, earlier today, um, there is still a bail count on the console versions of FS22, and it's still at 200 bales. Why? Uh, what was that, Gabe? I'm sorry. Have you verified only something? Anyway. Um, but yeah, the 200 bale limit is still a thing for consoles. Probably because of the Xbox One and the PS4 still getting this game. I think so. Yeah, I, I think I do, Gabe. Just to help weed out some of the people that we don't want in there. Okay. Okay, the next section, the game settings. Here's where we're going to change some stuff. Okay. At the beginning, I did turn off the autosave interval because I do not like autosave. Because if I'm doing something um, and I mess up, like with terrain editing or something, I don't want to go into the menu to quit the game and have it save first. Now, Gabe brought up a good point earlier during her stream that you can, if you have the developer controls set to true in the um, game XML, um, then you can hit the Atilda key, which brings up the dev menu, and you can hit the, you know, the Q button there and hit the enter key to, uh, go ahead and force quit the game. I'm not going to do that now, but that's, this is the menu here that you can actually do a bunch of stuff once you get the commands, um, set up until we get something like, um, easy dev controls from FS19 which hopefully we'll get something like that soon because it's a lot easier than typing in commands all the time. But getting back to the game settings, um, everything is still pretty much the same here. One difference that I did see earlier 
was the time scale is is all is still the same and then um you have a half time this time around you have you can set it to the 120x as well and all, anywhere in between trucker matsy welcome to the stream e economic difficulty you can still select it from easy normal and hard um they were mentioning at one point that you wouldn't be able to to select the economic difficulty but they have since reversed that apparently oh come on matsy you know you cheat at everything <laughs> traffic on or off for this playthrough i'm going to turn the traffic off here's here's the big difference here the seasons stuff seasonal growth you can have that on or off if you turn it off um then you can plant at any time or you can pause it and for me right now while i get used to the game first i'm going to have that set to off or no um you can have your uh, days per month set to one day to all the way up to 28 days and that's essentially like having three six nine 12 day seasons in fs19 so with it being one day per month every day is a new month now if i and that's what some people are saying is pretty much like uh, three day seasons so if I wanted to do six day seasons like I did in FS19, I'll select two days, which is what I'll do for when I turn the seasonal growth back on. The next one is the fixed visual month. That's you can have it set to any month that you want. To have, you know, you can have it set to December, and you could see the lighting change and all the foliage change out there. Okay. Or we can go into June, and you can see that it uh, changed to bright green and everything. For me, I will probably use June for the most part, just because that's the time of year that I like. But if I do select, say, January, and I leave snow on, if it's going to rain, which it doesn't look like it's going to right now, according to the weather... No, not right now. In a couple of days, a couple of months, I guess it will. But the snow will fall in the winter months, obviously. Thank you for the raid, ODF. So we're going to set that back to June. I'm going to turn the snow off because it's not going to snow in June. Okay, in the next section, some most of this stuff is... <clears throat> been in S19 before. Um, crop destruction, I'm going to turn that off for now. Periodic plowing. Actually, I want to leave it all on. Um, the field stones, that's the rocks that get kicked up when you plow and work the fields. If you turn those off, they won't show up. But I'm going to leave them on just so that I can get an idea what what it's like. I've seen something about the weeds being different this time around, where you have to do multiple passes to get the weeds out. We will test that at some point. Then the vehicle controls, dirt dirt level, you know, same as FS17 or, or 19. Sorry, um, automatic engine start. I always turn that off. Stop and go braking. The trailer fill limit is new. Um, what this will do is it will only fill to the weight capacity of the trailer, not not necessarily how much it can actually hold to the top of the trailer sides. You can turn that on for extra realism, or you can leave it off. I'm going to leave it off for now. I will experiment with that later. Fuel usage, you got low and normal, like 19. And then the AI workers to refill stuff, I always turn that off, just because I don't want them buying anything. Next section is general settings. That was game settings. This one's general settings, yep. You have your help menu. 
the on or off um, color blind mode interactive marker zone markers you can turn those off or turn them on those are the little yellow and black um tape corners that are around some of the sell points and buying points and triggers for like animal pins um new and base game this year this time around is the field info we had the mod in fs19 the additional field info mod which is very very similar it is base game now you can have that on or off so what that does if i come out here come out to my field you can see the field info you can see that i own the <coughs> own the um field it is a wheat field um, it's ready to harvest it's not fertilized and there's no weeds it needs lime and plowing that is some good information to have okay the next is what okay so i did change it when i did the other thing that must be a global thing then um for the units you have just like in fs19 you have the dollar pound and euros since I'm in the U.S., I'll do dollars, measuring unit for miles or kilometers, Fahrenheit or Celsius for the temperature, and then the area unit. This one's, yeah, that one was in FS19 as well. Um, hectares or acres. I turned it to acres um, mainly because that's what we use here in the States. You got your radio, the range, vehicle only or always. All this stuff is still the same. Um, reset. Vehicle camera. This one is a new one, I believe. I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, this one, I, I was watching a couple streams. I think Rob was one of them. That uh, we couldn't get this one to work yet. Maybe there, maybe it worked with the uh, initial release because there might have been an update in there for it. Because what what it's supposed to do is when you get out of the vehicle. It's supposed to keep the camera where it was. So if you have it zoomed all the way out and top top down view, essentially, if you get back into that vehicle, it should keep it there, at least for the duration of that gameplay before you exit out. It might keep it there um, for the whole time that you have the map or the save. I don't know. But it, as far as I know, it's not working right right now. We'll We'll turn it on and see, but it, I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to, uh, we're going to have to uh, move this truck. Ooh, that truck sounds pretty good. I will say that. And gears are new in this game. I have it set to automatic right now. So, okay. So if I zoom out, I can zoom out pretty far. So if I get out of it, okay, it didn't work. Okay, so if I do that again, I'll get out of it and I'll tab. It's working now. Okay, that is one thing that they fixed. So if you have it set to off, it will keep it at where you left it. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in over here. Oh, there's a tree. And tab through the vehicles. And, okay, it is now officially working. That is good. We're going to turn the, turn the pickup off. Okay, so indoor camera suspension is the next one. That one is just like an FS17, or 19, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying FS17 knock it off <laughs> um but that's the suspension in the seat essentially that it it'll, it'll basically try to keep the camera level and in one spot and so if you go up a hill or down a hill it's going to change the vehicle angle but not your head yeah yeah i know it's going to take a little time i mean this game is still new <laughs> um in a dynamic vehicle camera that one um goes a little farther with the indoor camera suspension they they work 
hand in hand together. You don't have to have both of them on at the same time, or you could turn both of them off if you want. You just released? From where? Looney been there, Matt? See? <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do that one. Okay. Uh, Matsy, Matsy, Matsy. Okay, so most of these settings are from here down are the same as FS19, like the invert Y look and all that. Um, there's some newer stuff that I didn't see in FS19. Um, easy arm controls was the things, camera sensitivity and all that stuff, I believe was in there, but maybe not. But you can change. Um, like how fast the camera pans up, down, left, right, you know, spinning in a circle and whatnot. Um, and like the steering, steering back speed, um, what that one will do is however, it'll, uh, if you set that higher, it'll bring this, the wheels back to center quicker. So if it's really, really twitchy when you're driving and you can't keep control of the vehicle, drop that sucker down. You can have it at zero, but then you have to manually um, turn it back. Uh, smooth tones, huh? Okay, Matsy. I'll, I'll go with that for now. <laughs> the st steering sensitivity is how fast it'll turn from lock to lock meaning full left to full right. Um, direction change is an, a new one. Delivers or defines if the vehicle direction change is automatically toggled or manually by pressing a button. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but yeah, I'm going to leave it on automatic for now. I'll mess with that later. So now here's where we get into the new stuff in this section is the gear shift mode. It defaults to automatic every time you start a new map or a new save. You can do it with manual if you want. Um, and you have to manually shift the gears, hence manual gear shift. Um, then there's one more manual with clutch. You have to select a key bind if you're using a, a standard controller or if you're on console. If you're using a wheel that has a clutch pedal, that won't affect you. It already has a key binding to it. But I'm going to leave it on automatic for now. We'll go go through with the uh, gear shifting later. And I'll be going through a lot of the other stuff too later as well. Just the clutch, not clutch clutch. I mean, I know you clutch clutch, but in your truck. Thank you for finally following Trucker Matsy. <laughs> um anyway um switch to trains standard stuff um the input help mode um this is this is um one that a lot of people have different preferences if you're using a controller a lot of times you'll want it on gamepad but if you're a keyboard mouse user you don't want to use it on the keyboard or the, on the uh, gamepad setting because then you won't get the right key bindings I can't believe it either, Matsy. My preference for the input help mode is for both. And the reason is because there's a lot of mods that will be coming out eventually that has only keyboard commands in it for certain functions. So what I norm what I would normally do if I can't Yes. Yes, Gabe, that's that's what the auto in input help mode does there. I can actually demonstrate that. So right now, you can see in my hel helper menu up in the top there, it's all keyboard commands, or uh, game gamepad commands. If I I'm going to hit my control button to change it, and there is my uh, keyboard ones. It's, it's easier for me to be able to, 
to go back and forth, at, you know, on the fly. So I don't have to go into the menu every time to change that. And then eventually it will automatically go back to the gamepad if you're um, pushing buttons or something. Okay. And then your volumes, that's standard stuff. Everybody has their preferences. I kind of have a, a set preference for what I have mine at. I had to bump them up a little bit for the streams. So then the next section, the key bindings. I don't know if it's going to be a thing in this game or not, but in FS19, as you all know, it's it was always good to hit reset all every once in a while. So when you go through scroll through this section it wouldn't lag your game for 10 years <laughs> but this is where you would select all your key bindings and stuff and there's a lot of stuff in there this time around and this is without any mods that require any special key bindings i mean if you really wanted to you could have key bindings for every single gear if you wanted so say for example you want to use a stream deck for your gear changing to select a, a specific gear you can do that or any buttons on the keyboard that aren't already mapped because if you map the same key to different input bindings so like for example if i put the y button on gear four here it's gonna it's gonna do the same thing as the other command that that button was uh, bound to and which can cause problems so you want to be on the lookout for that when you're doing key bindings and and if you don't have to change them at all if you don't want to or you can that's all user preference last section here in the menu is all all your help stuff here i'm not going to go through all of this right now um it might be a good idea to look through some of this stuff for some of the new crops like grapes and olives for example um I don't know what what is catch crops. Oh, oil seed radish. Okay. Um, there's a lot of information here. It's not the full information. It's just a summary, essentially. Sounds good, Gabe. So, and then since I'm here at this point, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And it saved fairly quick. My settings for, for my graphics may not be the best. Because um, I'm using the same settings that I did on FS19. And since I have the dev controls opened up, as I sh showcased earlier, I'm going to bring up my FPS counter. And it does fluctuate a little bit. Just because of the settings that I have. So. Alright. So I believe I have the uh i clicked on the tutorials i am not going to do the tutorials so what do i want to do oh wait hey come back here there's a deer and i ride that deer like clutch did yeah i hit a tree uh, i lost him no i can't get him get off my field you Dirty deer. Hiya, hiya. Hey, I'm catching ya. Ah, Roadblock. Hey, get out of my wheat field. I don't know why my game is lagging a little bit like this. Whoa. I will catch you again. Guys aren't it aren't near as fast as they should be in real life. Uh oh, he turned off. Hey, hey. He kind of glitched through there. Wow. Uh, he just disappeared. He just disappeared. I cannot believe it. Oh wait, yes I can. This farms him after all. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll do some of these orbs here. 
Okay, that that's new ish. It shows you where you can sleep and stuff like that. I'll probably turn those off eventually because I don't need to know those. Uh, of course, now we're going to do the guided tour, I guess. Can't get out of it now. So we're going to. It wants me to enter the combine. This is all the same stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oops, wrong button. Oh, come on. Unfold. Why are you not unfolding? Because I was hitting the wrong, wrong bumper button. <laughs> so, essentially, playing the game itself, doing the, uh, the work... Is essentially the same as FS nineteen, FS seventeen. Uh, and that's that's a good point, you guys. Um, that you can sleep anytime now in base game, so you don't have to wait till nineteen thirty in the evening to go to sleep. That is a nice feature that has been needed since the sleep feature became a thing at the beginning of FS um, 19. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Right. We're going to hire a worker. Exit the vehicle. Now it wants me to go over to the tractor, so we're going to... Go over here. It wants me in that tractor. Okay. I'll bite. And here's for your John Deere fans, the 75 or 4755. All right, so now we're going to this thing to cultivating, drop it down. Animations are a little slow. Oh, that's because I was on the weight. <laughs> Pick the right implement, dumbass. And I'm not kicking, yeah, I'm kicking up rocks now. This is new. You can see a little bit of the rocks right here that got kicked up from the cultivating. We will deal with those later. Oh, I need to go up over there. And this one here is going to be sowing the field. Yeah, select the seed. And so, I guess we have to do canola, I guess? Why, I don't know. It will only let you plant canola in this tutorial, which is dumb. Real exciting stuff. Hiring the AI workers in here, at least, is the same as it was in FS19. But the worker menu... Um, come on. I'm going to go into the worker menu quick, because... Yes. Okay, so now... Here is the what this menu is all about. So with this worker here, if I want him to not do that anymore, I can go cancel job. So then I can select this. We're going to have him go up, uh, set destination. I want him to go up here.
and then maybe he will go there. Or maybe I have to have a worker hired first. Um, I don't know how this works. Oh, start job. There we go. But it's not working. Okay. Well, so I just ended all of them. That's okay. But, yeah, it is what it is. This is, this is the first look for me. So, uh, you can see the guy actively uh, uh, shifting the gears. So that's cool to see. So we're going to bring that into the field. We're going to get this thing back going. So used to the automatic engine start. Uh, I'm destroying some crops. The AI workers won't destroy the crops with crop destruction turned on. Which is a good thing. But if you stop them in the middle of the field, they're going to destroy any crops that are around if you move it. So we're going to just let this guy go for now. And I see an icon over there. So I'm going to tab to that one to go see what this is first. Must be water, possibly. Not 100% certain on that. Doesn't matter. Got to hear birds. Yeah, we won't be having this equipment on this farm for very much longer. This small stuff? No. I'm one that I like to go with the big stuff. And not necessarily modded big stuff either. And that's new. <clears throat> Blocked by an object. Yeah, he was. But he waited for a minute and started going again once the path was clear. Sometimes in FS19 the workers would just stop. Like, oh, blocked by an object. Oh, task completed. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to create a job. Oops. No. I forgot to yeah, go to. And let's see what happens. Target unreachable. Oh, no field found. Okay. You have to go to a field with it. You can't necessarily just... The way I was doing it, you can't have him go to a specific point. Okay. Oh. Well. That's good to know. Well, auto drive and course play complement the AI worker setup in here. Okay, I want to see what I own. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna look in through this. Okay, so so this is the shop menu. As you can see, we have the brands like we have before, but they're categorized. Um, alphabetically by their brand name, which will make it easier to find them now. And there's quite a few of them, even base game. Um, we will be looking through the equipment later on. Um, categories are fairly similar. Um, grape technology, all of technology is a new thing. Um, obviously. Miscellaneous has a different picture, but similar type of stuff. Um, and all your 
all your tools and implements. I'll be making a video about the equipment at some point here. Um, objects, that's, that'd be your big bag, pallets, big bags, regular pallets, and bales. And this is a new feature for this game, which is really cool. So if you want to do nothing but grain, you can uh, click on the grains here in the packs, and it'll give you a um, suggested um, equipment to use. You don't have to use the equipment that they have in here, but if you're thinking that you're forgetting something, you can always look in here and be like, oh, okay, I'm missing that. I do that all the time, even even to this day. Have one for grapes, which is going to be interesting. Um, you know, a lot of different stuff. You want to do mowing? They they will tell you what you what you should do for that. Um, for hay, they're going to give you a small baler. You know, um, for transporting, they'll give you options there as well. There's a lot of stuff to uh, to look at in here, and I don't have time to do that much looking in here. But, I mean, as far as going through everything, um, through all the menus, we can do that. So we have our used vehicle sale here. The vehicles are going to, vehicles and implements. And the tools are going to be different. Wood is a cheat code? How so, Matsy? Is it because it's worth so much? Because, bro, I got government subsidy signs on mine. <laughs> Anyway, for the used vehicles, it'll tell you the amount of hours it has been used um, and uh, how old it is and stuff. I'm not going to buy it right now, Matsy. I will eventually in my off screen. I'll, I'll check that out later on. I'll probably do a video on it. Um, then in the owned items, this is where you'll find that. And it actually categorizes them now. So you don't have to just scroll through everything that you own just to get to the one thing that you want to sell. So you have, have the selection here that can be long, like it was in FS19 and you can still sell from this menu or you can click show on map. I didn't do anything. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah, it'll show you what all you own. Least items. Um, it's in a different section now. Um, and right now I don't own, I don't have any least items, but they will show up here. Mods and DLCs. I'm not sure why. Oh, okay. Interesting. So if you have mod modded vehicles, it'll probably show up in here now instead of up in here, possibly. But then again, um, I was looking earlier. It showed up here, I thought. Yeah, because here's the Black Anthem. That one's a DLC there. For whatever reason, the Ma Black Anthem, the Fent Bla Black Beauty, and the Zader tractors don't show up as DLCs or mods in the mod selection screen. So, maybe everybody gets them right away, regardless. Um, I'm on PC, obviously, but maybe consoles get them too, despite the store that they, they get them at. I don't know. I don't have it for the console yet. Maybe eventually I will. But 
I don't know. I need to check something real quick here. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'll be back with you guys in just a moment here. I, there's a couple things I need to look at quick. Uh, I did not have this set up beforehand, and I do apologize for that. And I wasn't thinking. I know, big surprise. Uh, let's see here. I thought that one was, yeah. Got to do a little housekeeping in here. I know this one is as well. I don't want those bots in here, so. Yeah, that's okay. I've I've done I've gone through not stream well, not streaming and got rid of a lot of them. So I don't have a big issue with it, especially since I haven't been streaming lately, but they're going to become an issue again. So I'm going to try to get into it more. So, okay. Anyway, back to the the game here. Um, others. So, I guess here, you do not have any an animal barns or pastures. First place a barn to be able to buy some animals. Oh. Okay. So, oops. So you can buy your animals in here now. Um, the wardrobe, that's the character creation, so you can change it after you get into the game. And I'm going to turn that off for the fuel. And there was one thing I wanted to change quick, because I saw that in the options and it didn't change it. Uh, I think. It had something to do with... Uh, Um, the speedometer or whatever. Yeah, here we go. Speedometer display value. I've overlooked that one. So engine speed or vehicle speed? We're going to go vehicle speed because that's the way it was before. So we're going to go ahead and save that there. Okay, exit out of there. And go into the shop menu. Okay, here's, the, here's a farmland section here. That's essentially the same thing that you can do in the in the um, main map. So if you hit the button again, you can select between it and the map, or you can do it from that other menu. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, and you guys may not approve of this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna go into construction here. This is a new feature for buying stuff, placeables mainly. But the first thing I'm going to do is I need to put some government subsidy signs down because I want to get a little bit of money to kind of showcase this off a little bit. Doing the uh, placement of stuff is different. I'm just going to put a bunch of those down there like that. If, if you had these on FS19, you'll recognize them right away. $350,000 you will get per hour per sign on easy difficulty. So I'm going to speed time up. The key bindings are still the same. 7 and 8 on the numbers at the top of the keyboard, not the number pad. I'm going to go up, go up to the next hour. Just to get some money so, it, so we can... Uh, have a look at the terrain editor. 
that's what I really want to showcase here. Six and a half million dollars should be good enough. Okay, go back in there like you're going into the shop. So, let's see here. Uh, actually, I don't want to go into that. There's different ways to get rid of the stuff. We can uh, demolish. Oh, no, I guess, I guess you can't do it that way. It's not letting me do that. Okay. I don't want them in here right now. This is going to take a little while. This is kind of... Eh, I wouldn't say it's a... You know, bad or anything. I'm used to FS-17. Or, or FS-19. I'm going to be doing that for a while, guys. So bear with me. Maybe in three years it'll be out of my system. <laughs> but in FS-19, you could just select them in the um, shop menu and go sell on that one. And then you could do that for each one. Or you could go through and scroll through like you're walking and select each one of them that way and sell them. This time, it doesn't look like you can do that. do it that way. Hit the wrong button again. So back in the construction side. Okay. So the first section here is buildings. And you have different subsections of buildings. Sheds, silos, silo extensions, um, container, tools, and farmhouses. So in the sheds, they're fairly, fairly self-explanatory. Um, you store your vehicles there. So what I need to do quick is I need to buy some land and we're gonna buy that one that one I'm probably not gonna save it from this point on and there it won't it won't let me buy this area here for some reason that should be enough land to get started anyway so we're going to go back into the construction one. And that's kind of weird. Like you can't scroll out either unless you're using your mouse. From, from the controller, you can't zoom out. Um, where am I? Place in this. I guess we'll place it right here. Your left and right bumpers will rotate. Um, you can rotate the camera and tilt the camera with the right stick, and your movement is uh, left stick. So, trying to get this straight is going to be eh, decent. Okay. So there I have a new shed on the map. Now what I'm going to do, this is going to require a mouse on, on a PC. So then we have our silos. There's only, oh wait, no, I scrolled out too far. There's quite a few different ones in here. Um, none of them are, are multi-fruit base game it doesn't look like if they are please let me know I, as far as I know they are not 16 million liters base game for this one overlaps another object oh that's a big one okay so we're just going to place that down and it won't let me Yeah, I don't think there is, Gabe. Wish on the little mini map in the bottom it would tell you exactly where you're at. But it doesn't. It just shows the general area that you're in. 
does not let me place this one down. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm too close to something? I don't know. So that one's a bust. But anyway, silo extensions, self-explanatory, got some slurry ones, li liquid manure, um, containers. Those are going to be your bins for like fuel and whatnot. That one's a large petrol tank. Two of those. Liquid fertilizer tank, stainless steel fertilizer tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one is a silo that can be filled with different products. I'm wondering if this is one of those silos where you need an auger to fill it. Um, no, it doesn't look like it according to the icons there. Okay. And there's a water tank. Okay. And in tools, we have a weather station. Okay. That would be useful to have. To, to predict what the weather is later on. Um, I think it'd be more useful if you have the seasonal cycles turned on, obviously. For me, it doesn't matter right now because I have those turned off. Um, we have a vehicle workshop, electric, electric charging station, which we are going to be getting a lot more electric vehicles now that their base game and not a DLC from a previous game. There are some people that have that did do that. The the electric um, vehicles third party, but uh, they couldn't come to Mod Hub. Now we can have electric vehicles on the Mod Hub if Giants approves them. Obviously, yeah, we got quite a few stuff, quite a bit in there. Right now we only have one farmhouse. And it's going to tell me, yeah, only one item allowed per farm. So I won't be able to place that. But that's okay. Next section in productions. Um, this is going to be part of the productions chains. The first three are your biogas plants. You put in your silage and uh, manures. Maybe wood chips, I'm not sure. And you get out uh, uh, digestate and a couple other things there. Power. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, have bakery, the carpentry. Uh oh. That's not good. Men's having problems with his game. That means they'll probably have problems with mine at some point, too. But, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. You could place down selling points now. Base game. I don't think there was hardly any, if any, in base game. And for FS19. It's been so long ago, I don't remember. Um, you have some greenhouses. Uh, let's see here. Lettuce, tomatoes, and strawberries. Um orchards for the um, grapes and olives and then your generators where I was just a few minutes ago to put the subsea signs down your solar collectors and your uh, wind turbines the animals animal pens for cows horses pigs sheep chickens bees and then there's others that's what the dog house would be um, and decorations this is the the best for me the best part of this build mode so far. Look at all the different fences that we could put down. Just for for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put down this orange construction fence. Okay. So I'm going to get lined up. And I'm going to place it right there. Scroll out. And I can... I can actually build a fence now instead of just placing sections and try to get it straight. Place it there. Once you click the mouse button, you can keep going with it around a corner. You don't have to try to line up your corners. Okay. So if I want 
I want to put a gate in right there, you hit the right mouse button to uh, get out of place fence. And then we're going to put in a gate. Um, here, gate, 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 gate. We'll just put this one down. Um, why not? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll click on... That's the one cool thing about this, too. Say you have a span that's that's not full yet, and you have a little gap there. You can click on the previous section and the previous post for the fences and drag it and make sure that you don't have a collision there. There we go. It's not it's not 100% perfect yet, but it, it will be re refined by some good map makers. Gabe and Paul, yes, I'm looking to you. So, as you can see that I put the post too on the wrong side for the fence of the gate. So, I have to move that to bring it out over here. It's not 100% perfect. Kind of For me, it looks like crap, but I'm not a farm yard builder per se. But I can do some stuff. And then... Here is the landscaping mode, and I'm going to show this off too. Um, change the brush size. Um, apparently, you cannot change the brush strength anymore, which is dumb. I am holding the button and it's not working for me. There we go. Just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so I'll click out of there. We'll go back into decorations. And we're going to select this fence. And this is the cool, cool part about this. Get the camera selected right. It will, the fences will conform to a hill. Looks kind of stretched. And maybe the, they will revise that with future updates to the game. We don't know yet. But eventually it will hopefully look better than it does. It doesn't look bad. We can now go with the terrain instead of a fence going down in the bottom of of a hill or into a hill and you have to put a piece of fence on top of it and then it's staggered down that look just didn't look right now we can at least go over the terrain okay and now getting back into landscaping um, the first one is raising and lowering the second one is uh, leveling so if I want to make make this hill bigger or, or yeah bigger in here I just select the uh, mouse button and just keep going with it the next one is smoothing and then the last one is a slope this one's gonna be f good for those that like to make ramps so No target height set. Okay. Oh, okay. So you have to right click there and do the slope like that. Kind kind of a, a uh, something that uh, complements the uh, smoothing a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, not bad. Actually, it looks more natural than it used to on FS19. Then we have our painting. Now, this is something new. If you're going to try to plant, paint grass down, 
Um, you can't just do that. So, um, I mean, you can paint the texture down, but you won't get anything to grow on it. What you have to do is go over to the plant section and decide which one you want to plant. So the first one is meadow grass, uh, kind of flowers is the second one, daylilies is the next one. So you can just paint those all over. Or you could just do the whole thing in this grass. Oops. Keep doing the wrong thing there. You can go quite high zooming in and out when doing this too. So the grass textures are different. There's more flowers in it which is a, always a good thing. Um, you have bushes now that you can actually paint in there, small ones, the medium ones, and the large ones. Those of you that have been on my maps, I have those in most all of them. Because it just, just makes it better. Um, it look, makes it look better when you're doing a farm build whether you're recording it or just, just doing it for gameplay. Okay, and then I didn't get to the trees yet. So large down, downy service berry, never heard of it. So I'm gonna place one of those. Here's a pagoda dogwood. Place that one. Here's a medium one, which is slightly bigger. And the large one. Then we got uh, hickories. There's a lot of different uh, tree options now. And if you place them in with those bushes, the bushes don't necessarily disappear, which is good. And we have our birch trees again, the oak trees again, willow trees are new. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna make things look different. We have our pine trees. So it looks like the maple trees are not here anymore. Um let's see here. I didn't see the birch trees, so maybe they got rid of them because they were too problematic in the previous games. I think I can get behind that. Oh, I didn't even see the elms. There we go. So, yeah. I mean, without going more in depth, that is the build mode, a quick demonstration of it. And it doesn't look half bad. I mean, it doesn't look good because it's just a quick thing there, but. Yes, Gabe, yes, you do. Yeah. Got stuck on the fence there. But that is that is the cool thing with the fences conforming to the hills and to the terrain. Now, there's more things that I could go into. Um, I've been going for two and a half hours here. And a lot of you have stuck with me through all of that, and I do appreciate it. But I think I'm going to call it a stream here, because there's some stuff that I want to do. I want There's some stuff I want to figure out on this game. And during a stream, it, I could be streaming for 12 hours, and I really can't do that. I have to work tomorrow, unfortunately. So, um, so yeah. I mean, that's... The f my first look at the first map, really, which I didn't even really look at the map, is more getting to know the menus and the build mode a little bit. Um, I will be doing some um, map first looks later on. Um, maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. I don't know what my streaming schedule is going to be like. So 
I don't know. So one thing that I'm going to show you here is if you just saw it, the mini map is different this year. This is the last thing I'm going to touch on tonight. Um, it is now round. Um, old GTA style games were like that. And it's kind of cool. You can have it round or the traditional square like it used to be, but it's smaller. You can change that in your main settings on the main menu of the game for the HUD scale. And I, pro I will probably do that, but then again, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll have to experiment with that stuff. And the big one is, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It shows you where your vehicles are and shows you where those cell points are and everything. But it doesn't necessarily show where you're at on the map, which I don't necessarily like. Unless there's a setting that I have turned off. Oh no, it does It does show when you're not in the build mode. You can see that uh, that little, little uh, triangle there. So, but anyway, I'm going to um, call it a stream here and, uh, and uh, we will uh, get back with you guys here in the next few days. I will try to have this up as a video on YouTube tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be in the morning or in the evening, but I'm going to try to do more stuff. If I don't stream, I will be, will be doing videos. So be sure to check out um, my YouTube channel. That's where the videos will be. Um, have a good night, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later, guys.